On the 19th of September, the second stage of the German counterattack to destroy Patton's spearhead commenced with the 113th Panzer Brigade pushing up towards Aracourt. Close to the front line and thus close to the German armoured assault were the men of the 3rd Platoon, C Company, of the 704th Tank Destroyer Battalion. After the first contact with German tanks was established by the forward posts, 3rd Platoon of C Company of the 704th Tank Destroyer Battalion, armed with the M18 Hellcat Tank Destroyers, were ordered up. Captain William Dwight, the liaison officer of the 37th Tank Battalion, took four M18s under the command of Lieutenant Leiper to Hill 279. They were ordered to take up a blocking position on top of the hill near Réchicourt La Petite and provide support for the numerous outposts of Combat Command A. As the M18 Hellcats rolled through Richicourt, they went off the main road and went northwards towards Bazong. A round went over the heads of the crews, but because of the poor weather, they were unable to locate where the round was coming from. Cautiously, the M18 tank destroyers moved up to a point about 900 meters north of Richicourt. By 7.45 am, the four tank destroyers reached the hill and took up their firing positions. Right after the last M18 had taken up its position, a Panzer IV was spotted coming out of the copse at the foot of the hill. Sergeant Stacy, who commanded the lead M18, opened fire and the Panzer IV was destroyed with the first shot. The burning tank illuminated the surroundings, and more German tanks were spotted coming out of the woods in a V formation. Stacy managed to knock out a second Panzer until his tank was hit and knocked out of action. Several crew members in Stacy's M18 were wounded, the assistant driver was killed. The three wounded men and Stacy managed to drive their crippled tank destroyer back towards Aracourt on its own power. The M18 might have been equipped with a rather powerful 76mm main gun, its armour was paper thin and couldn't withstand any fire coming from the German tanks. Even though the M18s were in an ambush position, it wasn't going to be an easy fight considering the weakness of the armour. Another M18 knocked out the Panzer IV that had knocked out Stacy's tank destroyer. At the same time, the other two remaining American tank destroyers opened fire and two more Panzer IVs were knocked out as they tried to reverse back into the woods. Both sides withdrew, the Germans, probably from the 2nd Abteilung Panzer Brigade 113, retreated back into the forest and the M18s and the Leiper also broke contact and drove towards a neighbouring hill just to their rear. As they were making their tactical withdrawal, Leiper noticed several tanks near Richicourt La Petite at a distance of just over 2,000 meters. Leiper was anxious to open fire as 1st Platoon of C Company 704th Tank Destroyer Battalion was in that area as well. But when Leiper spotted a 6th tank, he ordered his three remaining M18s to open fire. Generally, a tank destroyer platoon only consisted of a maximum of five tank destroyers, hence the reason why Leiper opened fire as soon as six tanks were spotted. Just to be on the safe side, they also ordered in 105mm artillery shells from a nearby M7 Priest battery. Eventually, five German tanks were seen destroyed. The weather throughout the day had been poor with fog and light drizzle. Nonetheless, Major Charles Carpenter, the head of the 4th Armoured Division's reconnaissance aircraft, took his plane to the skies. Major Carpenter was known as Bazooka Charlie for equipping his L4 Grasshopper plane with bazookas. He spotted three German tanks making their way around Leiper's position, threatening the M18's rear flank. The tanks had probably sneaked in between both M18 platoons covering Rechicourt. With the new information coming from Major Carpenter in the air, Leiper turned his tank destroyers around. They hit two of the flanking German tanks, but in return two of the remaining three M18 Hellcats were also knocked out in quick succession. One was hit in a dry sprocket, the other in a gun mantlet. Leiper left alone with one remaining tank destroyer and retreated back to Aracourt. Leiper started the day with four M18s and ended it with only one operational tank. Despite the heavy losses, Leiper and his platoon managed to destroy nine German tanks. On that 19th of September, the 704th Tank Destroyer Battalion knocked out a total of 29 German tanks. The engagement with the Panzer IVs might have been a small one, it still proved that despite the fact that the M18 tank destroyers had paper-thin armour, it could still knock out and destroy the German tanks. It was a dangerous kitty with very sharp claws as 3rd Platoon C Company of the 704th Tank Destroyer Battalion showed that day at Aracourt. 
This was the Ace Destroyer. I thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can always subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave a like and comment. Cheers!